from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Wednesday afternoon. A frequent public access area to the Missouri River in Fremont County is set to close this summer. Iowa Department of Natural Resources officials recently announced that the Hamburg-Mitchell Missouri River boat ramp closes June 30th. Located straight west from the Hamburg exit of Interstate 29 along the river, the Iowa DNR has been leasing the property since 1985. However, Iowa DNR wildlife biologist Matt Dollison tells KMA News that the property recently changed hands and the agency will no longer be able to lease the area. People when I was in grade school decided that was, uh, you know, a good way to provide fishing access and boat access on the Missouri River. So felt like it was needed down there, but that was always an agreement with the private landowner where we paid a lease every year. And uh, the landowner we were leasing it from uh, sold the property and uh, the new owner decided they didn't want to keep uh, doing the lease. Dollison says the development is somewhat troubling because the boat ramp is one of the most frequently used access areas by anglers along the Missouri River in their wildlife. Unit. Despite pending legislation at the State House, budget preparations continue in the Shenandoah School District. Earlier this week, the Shenandoah School Board set public hearings of the district's fiscal 2025 budget for April 8th and 24th at 5 p.m. Legislation approved in the 2023 General Assembly requires school districts and city and county government to hold two public hearings. Though the Iowa legislature is yet to set the supplemental state aid level or reach consensus on the teacher compensation package, Shenandoah School Superintendent Dr. Kerry Nelson tells KMA News the district's budget process moves forward. We don't currently have the supplemental state aid amount at this time, and we also have an estimate of what minimum salaries would need to be from the Senate and the House, but nothing has been firmly established about teacher base pay. And so without those two factors, it's really difficult to put together a completely accurate budget that's added a great amount of complexity to the conversation this year. Nelson is among KMA land superintendents unhappy with delays in finalizing budget. Red Oak officials plan to wait a couple more weeks before deciding on a new contractor for water tower maintenance. Meeting in regular session Monday night, the Red Oak City Council tabled action on a water tower maintenance contract after hearing one-year proposals from Viking Painting LLC out of Omaha with an annual fee of just over $17,750 and McGuire out of Sioux Falls with an annual fee in year one of $47,500 and potentially $33,800 in year two. And Nebraska City officials are supporting local residents in building a new attraction to Kearney Hill Park. At its regular meeting earlier this week, the Nebraska City City Council approved a request to apply for grant money for the park's fort project. Speaking on our Morning Line program this morning, Nebraska City Mayor Brian Beckett says the local citizens group pushed for the project in one of the community's major recreational areas. KMA on track weather sunny this afternoon. Highs in the upper 40s, partly cloudy tonight, lows in the upper 20s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.